So this package should be full of Star Wars cards that I have recently bought off of eBay. Got a nice little lot of them. Let's open this up and see what kind of condition and which ones I got. So the person packaged them in these plastic cases, which is nice. So let's start with the first one right here. So if you are new to Star Wars cards, um, these are 1977 top Star Wars cards. They ran a bunch of different series of them in the first run. The blue ones are the first series. So technically, like you can see here, they're also numbered on the front and not on the back. And so technically, this would be like C3PO's and R2-D2's kind of rookie card. Really nice card there. <clears throat> and then what do we have here? Oh, nice. I really have started to enjoy these quite a bit. The Rebels defend their starship, number nine. C-3PO is injured. Just beautiful cards. Pretty overall, pretty nice condition. Really happy with that. Nice one of C-3PO there. Kind of the beginning of the movie of that one there. You got Mark Hamill in the control room. Oh, that's a really nice shot of R2-D2. Also kind of considered his rookie card there. Number three, really nice card. Let's see what else we got here. I want to try and be as gentle as I can. Number, there's another Luke right there. Nice little grin on his face. Looks like we got almost the whole crew there. Minus Leia. And this right here, folks, is the reason why I bought the lot. Card number one in the 1977 Top Star Wars, Luke Skywalker. Like I said, the hobby pretty much has decided this is his uh, rookie card. A little, little corner there action. Overall, pretty nice. This is the second one I have of Luke. So um, I am going to eventually send these off to get graded. Um, even the low graded ones, um, still, uh, you can get a pretty good price um, for the low graded one. So uh, really, I, this is the whole reason I bought this lot here. So real happy. I was real, real excited to see the kind of the condition of the car. So real happy with the condition. So if you're looking to buy lots off of eBay of Star Wars cards, you're really looking for these blue cards, any of the uh, low number, like one through eight or nine there, all kind of consider the first card of all the main players um, in the first uh, movie. So we have a second one of R2-D2 there. That would be Grand Moff Tarkin's kind of rookie card there. I have a few of those. What do we got here? Lord Vader Stormtroopers. All right, the Victorious receive the reward. Another nice shot of Luke there. And then he's working on C-3PO. Yeah, so just some really, that's a nice shot there. So the blue ones are the ones, oh, great one there too, the ones to look for. Um, so there's, I think like I said, there's about five or six series in the first run. Um, these are still all considered 1977 tops. The yellow ones too, you can see a little bit higher numbered. There's some really nice cards though in these two. Some really great shots. Like I love this one of Han. Um, you know, he's at the cantina there with Greedo. That's a great one of his there. Kind of go through these a little bit faster. See if that's a nice one. C three PO. Yeah. So if you are a Star Wars fan, it's just a really uh, fun way to collect some stuff, some fun cards of the movies, the shows, checklist. Love that. So the white border cards are from the Empire Strikes Back. So this, these cards came out a few years later. And there's, there are some very valuable cards in this set. Also, it's where you will start to see the first cards of Boba Fett in there. And some really cool shots. So it's like, for example, of you know, I have a Han here in the Carbonite, which is a really cool looking card. You got Lando's first appearance um, in the set here. You got the infamous scene right there where he about to find out that Vader is his dad. What And what a great shot. Like I said, what kind of got me into all these cards in the first place was the Vader cards. Um, cause I, 
kind of started seeing them at shows and started picking some up and then just kind of led into all of these and learning more about the whole set themselves. You have Yoda's first appearance in this card set as well. What a great shot there. Another one of Yoda, the secret of Yoda. So yeah, so the white bordered ones, if you see those are the empire. So it kind of gives you a little bit of a difference between the two sets. Another reason, and I've mentioned this before, another reason why I'm so high on these cards is they are just really hard to find in great condition. Um, to be honest, it's I've found, I have found very few in great condition. And then actually the ones I've gotten in this uh, eBay lot uh, have turned out to be really nice. So really happy with that. What a great shot there too. So um, with just the popularity of Star Wars, finding these cards in, in good condition, I just think there's a chance um, for some real value down the road. Disney's going to keep pumping out those Star Wars uh, shows and movies. So um, really high on Star Wars cards. Here's another just great shot from the cards there of the ad and the, or the Snow Walkers there. So oh, another great shot there too. So um, if you have any questions about uh, Star Wars cards, just leave them down in the comments there below. I'll be glad to answer them for you. Here's another great one of Yoda. And like I said, um, just if you're Star Wars fans, I can't uh, suggest enough of you know collecting these cards. They're so much fun, whether you're in it for the value or not. Just as a fan, they're just really fun. Kind of bring back some fun memories from all the movies. So um, I hope everyone is doing well. And until next time, everyone, be good.